Greenpoint Innovations developed as really kind of a platform for us to harness different parts of our economy to tackle one common problem, which is climate change. When we started doing this work, uh, we had a vision that we'd be able to bring together these unusual organizations and entities and individuals because they normally would not come into contact with each other. But if we can help build those connections and offer one platform that, uh, that everybody can harmonize together on, then that's, that's really the, the hope and, and objective you know, when we do these, these activations. So we started working with Greenpoint Innovations three years ago. Steven and Greenpoint Innovations and Newtown Creek Alliance and myself, we started having these conversations about how we could bring art more into our work and how we can use art in the public realm as an opportunity to tell the story of our waterway, to tell the story of the environmental uh, situation that's local but also global. Newtown Creek Alliance applied for a grant from the New York State Pollution Prevention Institute. And this mural in particular is all about the past, the present, and the future of our waterway. That includes the productive wetlands that were here prior to colonization, when the Lenape people were living here, all the way through to the degradation and destruction of the environment through industrialization, and looking to the future as to what restored wetlands can look like, what productive industries and ecosystems can look like when they function together, and also an idea of how our shorelines can protect us from rising sea levels. All of that we're trying to express in this one image, and I think Ayanna Cruz is doing a phenomenal job telling that story. The bird species, you know, the great blue herons, they are actually living on Newtown Creek despite 150 years of industrial toxins. They are finding a way to, to live there. And of course, the cormorants actually nest on the island that's right in front of the UN. We've taken measures as Greenpoint Innovations to tackle the overall sustainability of the project. That's everything from the circular economy, ensuring that the materials we're using from the, the chairs and the, the tables and the cloths and the buckets, that's all, that's all second or third or other use. For this project, we were able to team up with a company called Smog Armor, who provided some gallons of paint for us to be able to use for, the, uh, for all this beautiful color that you see behind us. As it dries, it consumes air pollutants. We're also going to be making the entire project uh, carbon neutral. It's really more about just being able to give something to these kids and to the, to the whole community that allows them to think differently. It was really great to kind of hear Aina Cruz talk about this to the kids because he's such a, a gentle, inspiring person that you immediately just feel comforted by what drives him as an artist. And I think us together, we really see the future in the same way, which is that if we're not doing something for other people, then it's just not worth it. It makes me really, really proud as an artist to be able to use my voice to inspire new generation and not only new generation but all of us and inspire myself in the first place to be a better person to be uh, more conscious about what we're doing in uh, every single action that we do every day of our life thank you so much everybody to be here so having the the un sdg action campaign team the climate week nyc team Newtown Creek Alliance, New York City Schools, Aina Cruz, Smog Armor, Materials for the Arts. It's about creating a home for everybody that have a similar vision and interest for the future. We really can be more powerful by collaboration and working together to achieve those common goals.